All right. Thank you for joining me, Unknown Bogey. I don't even have to say it. There it is right there. Enjoying a little beverage and it is good. Tonight, I am going to make uh, a recipe, but I've tweaked it just a little bit. And I'm going to share it with you guys. Uh, sorry about the ride, but here's what we have. We have one pound of mild Italian sausage. And I'm going to brown that up. And once that's browned up, when I get back, we'll show you the next step. All right, we're back. Take a big swig off your beverage. Italian sausage is uh, about ready. Let's uh, go for a little ride here. And let's get you down there. All right. <clears throat> so you're going to brown down one pound of mild Italian sausage. And this is a, like, I don't know, knockoff of a very popular uh, chain Italian restaurant. The recipe calls to throw in one cup of white rice, um, but I've made this recipe before, and you don't drain this, by the way, you leave everything in there, because your rice is going to absorb some of the flavor from the fat from the Italian sausage. Uh, last time I made this, I, I, did, uh, I wanted it a little bit heartier, so I think I added like two, almost maybe three cups of rice. So I cooked three cups of rice and I cooled it. So let's just throw, let's say most of three cups in, just for uh, fun. And this is brown rice because that's just what I had. Um, last time I used a little bit of white rice. And that was it was awesome. Actually, this recipe is awesome. So, uh, and, and it's just going to be an easy one tonight, kids. And every once in a while, you want to do something that's really nice and easy. So we're going to let this cook up just a little bit. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to add in three cans of beef broth. There's one. There's two. There's three. Yeah, let's see if you guys are checking that out because I'm working on a new I'm working off a new tripod tonight, so Stir that in. Alright, here's what else you're going to put in. I took a tomato about that size, chopped it up, going in. I need to get a spoon. Alright, about two tablespoons one, two, good enough, of tomato paste. Also, I have a can of Allen's Popeye spinach. The recipe calls for a 10 ounce package of frozen spinach thawed out and drained very well. Well, 
lucky for me, they didn't have the 10 ounce spinach. They just had this, so I thought, you know what, I can I can work with that. And I'll show you what we're going to do with that in a little bit. But right now, this is what you add salt and pepper to taste, and I don't have... Screw this. I don't have like a fancy fresh cracked jack pepper grinder. I should probably get one though, huh? I mean, if I spent money on a new tripod, I should probably spend money on one of them. We'll throw a little salt in there, and then uh, <clears throat> we're going to get this simmering. And when we get this heated up, we'll be back. This is really coming along really quick. This is a really, really easy recipe, but way, way tasty. It's awesome. I'm going to turn the burner up a little bit. I have it on medium right now. We'll get her up there a little. Wash the pepper off that bad boy. Put the cover on it. Let's go to town. I'm going to go get another beer. Check you guys in a minute. All right, just to give you an update. <clears throat> I'm going to turn this down just a touch more. But basically, you're going to simmer this for about 10, 15 minutes, something like that. Uh, and then right at the end, we'll add in our spinach. And I have some uh, cheese-filled breadsticks that are frozen. I'm going to throw in the oven, and that's going to be our dinner tonight. Um, I've already had this so I know I'm going hot pickle on it because it is good and I think you guys would go hot pickle on it too if you tried it so uh, just to give you an update this is what we're looking at and it smells pretty darn good all right we're back having a cold beer. I showed you earlier that we have a can of Ellen's Popeye spinach. Can't go wrong with Popeye. Uh, so let's address that situation because that's going to be the last thing that you're going to put in to this soup which is simmering on the stove. Um, <clears throat> open up the can. I put it in a strainer uh, actually, this is the strainer that I put it in. Let that drain. Wash your hands with soap and water and just press the liquid out. And then, when you think you have all the liquid out, actually you don't. Uh, so, let me focus you down on what we're going to do next to get the rest of the liquid out so we can add it into our soup last minute and just get it heated and then we'll be good to go. So, uh, sorry about the ride, but here's what we're going to do. Let me see if I got you focused down there. Well, there it is. There's our spinach that I've lump down. I mean you can take 13 ounces or 10 ounces of spinach and actually make a golf ball out of it. And I'm going to try and stay out of your way, but you're going to get the idea. I have uh, doubled up two, well here's one, here's two, and it's a double layer so you got four, and you're just going to keep doing this right here. You're just going to roll it up, and again, I apologize if I'm in your way, I, I don't mean to be. Just trying to help you guys out here. And that will be good enough. So, yeah, that doesn't... That doesn't look real appetizing right there, does it? Looks like a lump of shit. 
but you know what? It's spinach, and spinach is good. Uh, so, last minute, we're going to add that in and stir it up, get everything broke up, heated through, and we will be back. All right, so here is our soup, and here is our little lump of, well, call it what you want, but it's spinach. Very, very well compressed and drained, and I'll tell you what, you just do this right here. Stir it in. It'll break up. Once a little bit of liquid gets into it, And I'll tell you what, if you think that's not enough spinach, actually it is. It gives it a lot of flavor. Let me give you a little, oh, it's already breaking up. Let me give you a little close-up on this deal. We got our little cheese sticks in the oven. I don't think I can... Oh, you know what? That handle's pretty hot. Don't do that. Mmm, look at that. Beautiful. When the breadsticks are done, we will be back. We'll plate up and we'll give you the final review. Alright, here we are. I'm going to finish off this last beer. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you to all my subs. If you like this video, give thumbs up. Um, if you want to see or if you enjoy these videos, click subscribe. It's free. If you don't like the video and you give thumbs down, leave a comment in the bottom. Um, I may or may not respond to it, but if you think it sucks, let me know it sucks. It's alright. But here's what we have. We have... Oh, new tripod. Here, let's get down there. There we go. I don't know if the camera's picking this up. Like I said, new tripod. Trying to deal with it. That's our soup. We got a couple of uh, cheese or mozzarella filled breadsticks that we made. And I have made this recipe before, so I know that it's good. And I'm just waiting for it to cool off. So while I'm waiting for it to cool off, let's do a little of this. Hot pickle. There's, um, there's two of them. Two jalapenos, little pickle. Mm-mm. There is no reason to go hot pickle on this recipe because it's good. I know it's good. Do a little. Get the taste buds going. All right, let's, uh, I'm not sure how I want to do this here. You know what? I'm just going to do it like this. Got the bowl right here. Oh, I'll try and tilt it down. Ugh. Boil it. 
got our spinach, cheese. Oh, that's what we're missing. We need cheese. Damn. Good thing I said that. Let me flip my screen around and get you down here. Man, I almost forgot the the parting shot. Here we go. We're going to throw some of that on there. Some cheese. We need some of that. Well, it's no problem because this is plenty hot. So this will melt in. You know, just do Parmesan, whatever you got. Yeah, there we go. No! No, we're ready. Ooh, zoom out. Zoom out. A lot of times I forget that one. Alright, well anyway. Uh, here we go. <sighs> Honestly. You guys, seriously, you need to try this. <clears throat> mm. Mm -mm. A little cheese bread, dunk that in your little soup there. Awesome. Thank you for checking it out. <clears throat> like I said, thumbs up if you like. If you give thumbs down, leave a reason in the comments below why you don't like it. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I may or may not respond to it. Click uh, subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything. You guys take care. Check you later.